Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will make this aloo tiki. It is very crunchy and delicious. It is also a quick and easy snack. Let's start with this recipe. For this recipe, we need to boil 500 grams of potatoes. Let it cool down. Now grate these potatoes. Never use hot or warm potatoes or else the batter will become moist and the cutlet making will become difficult. Okay, the grating is done. Now we need to take one cup of poha and make it into a fine powder. Now let's keep it aside. Now add two tablespoons of chopped coriander leaves. Let's some poha powder which we have made, one tablespoon of dry mango powder, also known as amchur powder, one teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon of cumin powder, two teaspoon of red chili flakes. Here you can also use coarsely ground ch green chili paste, one pinch of hing powder, one teaspoon of salt, and three to four chopped curry leaves. Both hing and curry leaves will be re will relieve bloating if anyone suffers because of fried items. No need it. Let all the ingredients mix nicely. Make a dough. It's done now. Freeze your palms. Now make small portions. Roll it on the palms. Then press it and to make it like a patty shape. If the Dough is too dry to make a patty. Add a little water to the dough. Once all patties are done, fry them. That there aren't any cracks on the sides of the patties. So that if you fry them, the patties won't open up. Instead of making patties, you can also roll the dough and cut it into the shapes of a disc. So that the disc come out in even shape and your patties will look beautiful. If you want to store these chickies, you may deep freeze them in an airtight container. For deep freezing, First of all, place all the patties on a greased plate. Apply some oil or heat on these patties and place butter paper on top of them. Add some more tikkis, tikkis on them and cover them with a plate. Now keep these tikkis in the freezer for half an hour. Now take these hardened tikkis out of the freezer. Now that these are hardened, you can store them in an airtight container or box. While frying these patties, remember to never make haste to flip the patties. Let them cook properly from one side and then you must flip. When you put these patties in the hot oil, you will see that there are bubbles forming above them. Let these bubbles settle down. When these bubbles settle, this will become the right time to flip the patties. If you if you make haste to flip the patties, these patties will break into pieces and stick to your ladle. Our patties are ready. Look how crunchy and delicious they have become. Like this you can make these patties very easily at any time you want. <laughs> 